awesome sports player analysis. Paul Cole, aka Superman. Paul Cole is 26 years old and he's ranked at a career high of number five in the world. He really is Mr. Consistent. Every event this season has reached the quarterfinals or better. He's won 13 PSA titles in total, with two that really stand out. He had his breakthrough event, winning the St. George's Channel Vast Tournament in December 2016. At the time, he was ranked 31 in the world, and he came through qualification to win the tournament, beating Miguel Rodriguez and Tarek Moman along the way. Last month in March, he won the massive Canary Wharf Open in London, again beating Tarek Moman in the final. Paul Cole has the most obvious strengths of any squash player. His overall fitness is undoubtedly his strength. It's what all other players fear when they play him. He's never going to stop running. He's so fast and so fit. And mentally, he's happy to keep going, keep playing at the same level throughout a two hour match if he needs to. His level very rarely dips. As I said earlier, he is Mr. Consistent. He hits nice, simple straight drives to the back of the court. Not too hard, not too soft, just simple, tight, straight drives, constantly squeezing his opponent, tempting them to try and force the issue against him, which they run the risk of opening up the court too soon or at the wrong time, or hitting a mistake. What's great about the way he's improved in recent months are his drop shots to the front of the court, especially counter drop shots. His counter drop shot on the forehand side is absolutely superb. Whenever his opponent plays at a loose boast or a loose drop shot, he moves in swiftly. He has nice poise, nice balance, and he pushes in a beautifully tight forehand drop shot. This has been winning him so many points of late and it will continue to do so because of his quick movement onto the ball and the accuracy of the shot. The weaknesses of Paul Cole's game are he can sometimes be too negative. If he's feeling a little bit edgy or nervous, sometimes he'll create an opening to attack, especially on the backhand side, where it's crying out for him to play a backhand volley drop and he pushes deep yet again and so he lets his opponent off the hook. And if he's playing someone who isn't going to hit a mistake, like an Ali Farag or like a Shabagi, then he's just keeping them in the rally and gives them a chance to reset and for them to go on to the attack. This also happens with Gawad. If Gawad's playing well, all he's doing is keeping him in the rally for Gawad to then hit a great winner. Paul Cole really needs to continue with the confidence of when he does make the opening to take it in short because his short game is accurate. It's reasonably telegraphed, but it is accurate. And when you've made a big space to the front of the court, it would be silly not to take it into the space. Playing a drop shot at the right time is the right shot. He's currently at a career high ranking of number five, and I actually do think he will get higher. I do think he will get to four. I do think he will get to three. Whether he can break into that top two is very, very difficult. It will be interesting though to see if he can break in. He does need to be more clinical if he does want to reach the number one or two ranking in the world, which of course he does. But I think with practice, which he obviously does put in, he can achieve that accuracy and that clinical finish, which he does need. Thank you for listening to another Awesome Sports Player Analysis. Check out the website awesomesports.co.uk for many, many more.